Hey everybody, Marcos Villegas here in Las Vegas, being joined with James DeGale, who rematches Caleb Truax this Saturday on Showtime. Uh, James, uh, first off, a very lively press conference. Yeah. Um, a lot of stuff happened. Uh, let me know. So uh, live, do it on the yeah, I know. Yeah. What, what happened there? First, it, okay, well, uh, that, some guy, was Caleb, guy, Caleb Plant. Some farmer said he was, he was picking on the uh, Truex. Though. Yeah. And I laughed and he started on me and I said, listen, bro, please don't open your mouth to me because I'll do all you now, I'm going to shut up. And this guy's about, I don't even know this guy. I think he's said a couple things on Twitter in the past couple of months, but he's, irre he's irrelevant. Like, no one cares. It's not about him. I'm, I'm trying to regrade my title on Saturday night and he's just come in and make, trying to make a name for himself. He's a fool. And that's what happened. Shrek's a bit soft. They didn't really say much at all. But me, I don't take stuff like that uh, lightly. So, I told him about it. That's all. In terms of the rematch, how much of a motivation is it for you coming into this to make everybody forget about the performance you had in, uh, in that first fight? Well, firstly, I've had the I've, I had a grey cloud above my head for the past four months since that fight. Uh, I've been down, but it was so easier. It was so much easier to get back in the gym, uh, training, get back on the track, training. I ain't been out in the gym since my last fight. Uh, so it's been easier training, but I know what I have to do. And I'm just so thankful that I've got a chance to put it right. So we got to our Heyman and Showtime, but giving the opportunity again. So. Yeah, I'm over the moon and listen, uh, my shoulder's fully healed now. I feel so, great, I'm fully fit. When we walk in, how much different of a fight are we going to see? Yes. Do you feel? Yeah, you've got that going. This when has to be a dominant stand-up performance. This has to be uh, a performance where I dominate and, and win every round. Simple. If I, if I don't do that, uh, people won't take me seriously no more. Uh, before I lost my world title, I was ranked number one. With the ring, with the ring magazine belt, and uh, two fights prior to that, the the Medina fight and the Bayou Jack fight, I was boxing injured. That's when I was boxing injured. With the with the uh, Truex fight, I was fixed, but I wasn't healed. So then, and at that point, why didn't you just uh, opt to well, just sure, wait a little bit? Wait, wait. After my last fight? No, the first Truex fight. Oh, what? because you know what I thought. I get paid, I can pay off my mortgage for my house. It's only Truex, it don't matter. Like, mm. who's Truex? That's how I was thinking. But you can't rush injury, you can't rush fitness, and you can't take anyone lightly. And that's what happens. Yeah, so I've learned the hard way, but I've, I've learned the hard way ever since I was 10 years of <laughs> age. So, uh, yeah, I've learned the hard way. I'm just thankful I've got a chance to make it right again on Saturday. In terms of the division as a whole uh, is there plans for you to move up again uh, do yeah. you want to stay i'm just fully focused on saturday yeah but me 100 percent, i'm confident with being anyone anyone in the world mm. uh, so uh yeah but yeah potentially there's some fantastic fights really good fights in the super yeah. Yeah. you've got benavides hungry hungry lion Mexican, that, uh, guy. Yeah, yeah, the man, the man, he's my mantra after this. Mm. So, there's some brilliant fights. And back at home as well, you've got Groves, yeah. you've got Smith. So, no, the super middleweight division is hot. I was curious, why'd you come back here to the US uh, to fight, uh, seeing that uh, you had such a bigger fan well, base over yeah. there back home? Well, it feels like Truex come to my home town and embarrass me. And it was only right for me to do, to do, to do the same to him. Come, I come to America, I come to Vegas, and I give out my title. It's simple. But plus, I like it over here, man. Mm -hmm. It takes a bit of pressure off me as well. Uh, it feels, it feels like no one's watching back at home when I'm over here. That's yeah, what it feels like it. You can like walk around and yeah. be a normal person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, obviously they are. But yeah, it just feels like no one's watching. So it's actually uh, you feel better for you to fight I over thought, here yeah, because of that. Yeah, just yeah. Everyone's super nice to me. I've got no pressure from back at home. No one ringing me for tickets and this and that and asking how I am because the phone goes off. And I'm just here with my team, just focused and and that's it. How stressful is it? Then? Like what, what you saying your phone's going off non-stop? Is it oh, so well, now, stressful? No, 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 my phone's turned off now. Oh no, so, yeah. back home though. Oh, you're back saying... home. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, people ringing for tickets and seeing how I am and. You walk, you walk down the street and people ask how the fight is and where they can get tickets and just, just 
it's all general stuff. Mm. But uh, yeah, it's pretty hard. But I like over here. It feels like it's been my second home for the past three years. Obviously, I've boxed out here three or four times. No, four. I think it's four or five times. It's my fifth yes. time in the past three years. Yeah, quite a so, bit. So yeah, it's quite a bit. But I said, I'm like it, man. I'm living the American dream. And yeah, I'm just ticking off the boxes. New York. Vegas. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah. What's next on the on the checklist then? Well, first things first, I've got, got to win back my world title in a uh, in a in a good performance, and then we move forward. I speak to my advisor Al, my team, and see where we go from there. How is Al? Impressive. Al's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, no one ever knows. He's like this mysterious <laughs> figure. Yeah, like, how crazy. is he? Like, do you joke around with him? Like, how, how is, yeah, he? Like, is he like a guy's guy? Or? Well, I'm, I'm very lucky that I've got a relationship with him and. I get to speak to him, uh, but yeah, he's he's a special guy. Trust me, mm. trust me. I've never met a guy like him before, and that's no serious now. Kind of got the the beard going like he does too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> trust me, I'll have it. Hey, James, man, it's great oh, uh, catching up with you. Thank you so much thank for uh, allowing us uh, yeah. to talk nah, to you. No uh, on a final word, just uh, go ahead and let our, our viewers know what's going to happen in this fight. Yeah. What are they going to expect? Saturday night. JD, James Chunky Ligao is going to be a two-time world champion. Make sure you tune in. Uh, I was about to say Sky Sports there because that's the channel back at home. But <laughs> Showtime. Showtime. <laughs> Showtime. I'm not too sure when it starts, but tune in Saturday. It's going to be good.